to make a fire effect. Uh, so, first, make a new composition with this button. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it fire. I'm going to make it 10 seconds long. And it's going to be NTSC DV. Forgot to say that. Now we're going to right click in this here on new solid. Um, and I'm going to name this fire. It doesn't really depend on wh which color you have because I can have a black solid, it will work, white solid, um, whatever color I want. I'm going to make this black yeah. um, and make it comp size and OK. Now we're going to use the most powerful effect and it's called fractal noise. This fractal is wrong because it just look stupid and you can't do much with it. But we're going to use fractal noise. Also looks stupid, but you can make many stuff with it. Fire, water, uh, um, anything. Surface moving. Yeah, anything. So, noise is going to be soft liner and fractal type dynamic twist. Now we're going to hide the contrast to maybe 395 and bring down the brightness to 11, minus 11. And I'm going to change the com uh, detail level with the complexity to 5.6. Um, I'm not going to make this really good because the tutorial is going to be long and but I'm going to make this pretty good so hit transform on this here and the scale you can see you can higher and lower I'm going to bring it to there maybe and we bring down it and my phone is ringing and there you got tricked what we're going to do is press the uniform scaling and we get this so we can higher the scale width you see go to look like fire um, just beware always Ace, when you do stuff in the fractal noise, it's going to be grey and black and white. You have to add color, and I'm going to show you how you do that, of course. And maybe two, three, six, and maybe just higher that up a little. And there, I'm going to bring both of them away. Now you see it just nothing on it. Then we're going to keyframe the evolution and go forward in time and maybe f five loops times. Then we can play. You will see it animates and then the sub settings Sub rotation, you see, well, just that. That's why I'm going to keep that zero and that also zero. I really like to trick you guys today. And there, just play around with that if you want, and this maybe will look a little bit more realistic. Uh, offset turbo and bring that forward and bring 
that down you will see it animate upwards so it's more it looks like on a fire and then we go into uh, look around look around um, you can also keep from the skate height if you want I do that sometimes and maybe just really slow All of the stuff you do in Frack Noise can take from one day to one month if you want a realistic fire. Maybe one day. So, well, um, we also have the. I'm going to go to the sub settings, sub offset. You see that also animates the fire up. So, I go to keyframe. So, type in on the effect and present color and bring it to the solid. And what the you probably think, but we are actually going to fix it. So, if you go to masking, is killing, modify, pixel selection, input face. I forgot output cycle. So go to <laughs> output cycle and on the on the use present palette you can fire. Hallelujah. Now it's kind of slow. Maybe need to speed it up a little bit. It's much much easier to see when you use that. So I go to go to the evolution when I or here the sub offset. I go to bring that up down. The the the. Uh, evolution I'm going to rotate now it's kind of wildfire maybe f too fast but you'll get it just play around and then you're done and uh, bye for today leave uh, a comment and what the tools you you like to want blood I work on to how to make a blood defect I or almost there it is hard to make blood in the off tree effect it is in Sony Vegas but I hate Sony Vegas that's why I'm using Adobe off tree effect um bye